Welcome to WSO2 API Manager 4.0 Scenario Tutorials Part 2 on Create REST API from an Open API Definition. This tutorial is part of a series that guides you through all the capabilities of API Manager. This involves creating a REST API from an Open API Definition. Part 1 of this tutorial series is the prerequisite for the current tutorial. So if you have not watched it, please do so. Let's start the tutorial. Coltrain is one of the railway companies that is partnered up with GoGoTrain to provide better service to their customers. Coltrain already has some internally managed APIs deployed in-house and these are managed by their internal development team. One of the APIs is a train schedule retrieval API which is intended for the public community to get the Coltrain schedules. Currently, this API is exposed to the public and the Coltrane development team faces challenges in maintaining and handling the high load for the API. By exposing this API through WSO2 API Manager, Coltrane expects to get the full benefits of an API management solution such as API lifecycle management, security, rate limiting and decouple the maintenance overhead from the internal teams. As the solution, WSO2 API Manager provides capability to import OAS definitions and create the APIs using that. Let's try out this use case. There are six steps to be evaluated in this tutorial. They are testing the backend, exposing the API through WSO2 API Manager, removing authentication to the resource, deploying the API in the gateway, testing the API and publishing the API. For step 1, let's test the backend. You can execute the given curl command and get a response with scheduled items. You will receive the response as displayed on the screen. This indicates that the backend is working fine. Next, let's expose this API through WSO2 API Manager. In order to log into the WSO2 API Manager Publisher Portal, let's use the Coltrane's API Publisher Portal user called API Provider. Use the password as user123 and click on the Continue button. As we'll be creating a REST API for this tutorial, let's click on the very first option, REST API. Click on Import Open API to import the Swagger definition and click on open API file or archive. Click on browse file to upload. From the clone JIT repository project, you will find a folder called APIM tutorials. Under that, there will be another folder called resources. Inside that, there will be a YAML file called Coltrain public open API. Open that and click on the next button. All the other attributes will be fetched from the Swagger definition. So let's provide the context as Coltrane. Click on the create button. And we have successfully created the API and the API is now in the created state. So we have to provide the business plan here. Select one of the business plan that suits you and click on the save button. Since this API is intended to be accessed by public users, the Coltrain API providers want to remove any authentication for this resource. This way, anyone can access the service without any credentials. In order to validate this, let's navigate to API configurations, resources, and expand the resource. The security has been enabled. Let's, let's disable this option. Similarly, open the next resource and disable the security. Click on the save button to save the changes. So before we publish the API, the Coltrane developers want to test this API. WSO2 API Manager provides a test console to test the API while it is in the development state. So this test console can be viewed from this tryout option. Before starting to test the API, you need to deploy the API in the gateway. For that, go to deployments that is located under the deployment option. Provide the host name and click on deploy. So now we have deployed the API and we can try out this option. Generate the keys, expand one of the resources, 
and click on this try out button. Since these attributes are all optional, we can leave them as it is and click on execute. So you can see that we have received the response along with 200 response code. So the API is working fine in the publisher portal. So we can go to lifecycle and click on publish. Now let's go to the dev portal. Let's select coltrain.com tenant. One of the main requirements in this tutorial is that the public users also should be able to access this newly created API. Therefore, we are not going to sign into the dev portal. We will be accessing the dev portal in the anonymous view. So let's click on this API and let's click on try out. So we have not generated any of the API keys as we have not enabled the API security flow in the publisher portal. Let's expand one of these API resources and click on try it out. Here also you can leave these options as it is or if you want you can provide values for them. Click on execute and you can see that we have received a successful response with the status 200 and we have received the response as shown here. So now we have successfully completed this tutorial by creating a REST API using OpenAPI definition. As the next step, in the upcoming videos, we'll deeply analyze and get some hands-on experience on access control. Thank you for watching this video and we hope that you have learned something new and useful. We'll meet you all soon in another informative video.